Hey guys, welcome to this change of scenery. The video that I'm going to be doing today is something that was requested in the comment section of one of my videos. Um, it's what I'm excited about and what I'm nervous about when it comes to working with animals. So, enough talking, let's get into the video. I'm gonna do five things I'm excited about and then five things I'm nervous about. So, number one thing I'm excited about uh, is diversity. Every single day is different. When you work with animals, every day, no, no day is going to be the same because animals have different behaviors, different personalities, the schedules are different, what you're doing is different, everything is different. So I am excited about the diversity of having a constantly changing work environment. Number one thing I'm nervous about when it comes to working with animals. Animals are dangerous. Um, no matter what animal you're working with, whether it's a dog, a parrot, a killer whale, beluga whale, dolphin, tiger, lion, monkey, any kind of animal, it's dangerous and you're putting your life in danger. And yes, most people die in a car crash that's less than five miles away from home, um, but working with animals, your life is risk every single day. Number two thing I'm excited about, animals. Just animals. I love animals. It's been in my blood, my bones, since I was a little, wee little, wee little bean, wee little baby. Um, and I, I just love animals and getting to work with them. Hi, son. Um, <laughs> getting to work with them every day is going to be seriously my pleasure and my favorite thing. Number two thing I'm nervous about when it comes to working with animals. Activists and propaganda. Um, I had to put this on there. Because no matter what you do, if you work in a zoo, or an aquarium, or you're a dog trainer, or whatever, no matter what happens, if, you're, if you work with animals, you're going to have activists that are telling you, oh, you know, everything you're doing is wrong, you know, you need to release every single animal you have, you have a goldfish, you have a dog, you all need to be free, aka PETA, uh, but yeah, you have to deal with activists and propaganda, and sometimes they're going to trash talk you as a trainer, and like, all sorts of stuff, so... Yeah. Number three, the third thing I'm excited about when it comes to working with animals. Science and research. Um, being able to learn and discover new things about the species that I'm working with and be able to share them with other aquariums, other facilities, and do whatever we can to help put that research and what we learned and those scientific discoveries to good use on those animals in the wild and help protect their species, that sounds pretty incredible to me. Third thing I'm afraid of when it comes to working with animals. Um, haters, trash talkers, bullies, kind of like activists, but different. These aren't necessarily, these are keyboard activists among other people who will come up to you and say um, kinds of things like they'll give you death threats or something or tell you that like you should die because you're, you're a trainer or you're a terrible person because you're a trainer, what you're doing is bad, what you're doing is wrong, you're just a terrible person. Um, almost fell over. Um, all of those things. People are going to say mean things to you. Uh, people are going to say that you threw away your degree, that you're doing nothing to help these animals, all that kind of stuff, and you just kind of have to put that out of your perspective, but you know, it's kind of hard to deal with that sometimes. Fourth thing I'm excited about when working with animals. Um, kids. Yes. Kids, not birthing kids, uh, inspiring kids. So <laughs> I'm excited to be able to inspire the next generation of kids in this, you know, the next generation to conserve, connect with, and care for our natural world and be able to teach them, you know, a little bit about the species so that they go out and they learn more about those animals, they feel a connection, they feel. Um, passion for that animal and a love and understanding for that animal um, and are committed to you know picking up trash recycling doing whatever they can to help that animal in the wild um, and possibly get them into the same field I'm going to be going into or make them become a marine biologist a scientist a zoologist a biologist like all of these cool wonderful things um, so as far as the next generation of conservationists would be pretty rad Fourth thing I'm nervous about when working with animals is maintaining habitats. This sounds kind of like it goes without saying, but um, I feel like I need to put it in there. 
Maintaining habitats, even in the bird rescue that's, you know, behind this door in my house, I'm in my backyard right now, um, it takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of effort and imagining the fact that I did volunteer in an aquarium for a while, um, just cleaning the little bit of glass that was on there already took a lot of work and being it, having to dive into the water, reason why you need a scuba certification guys and cleaning the entire glass and making sure the bottom is fine making sure that the filters are working making sure you know about water chemistry making sure the salinity and the temperature is just right um, making sure it doesn't drop making sure the machines are all working um, that there isn't too much salt um, all of those things are very very important and maintaining that is very stressful and yeah but at least the fifth thing I'm excited about when working with animals is reward and giving back. So these animals have taught me a lot about myself, about the world around me, how I should and shouldn't care for kids, how, like everything. They've taught me so much about um, just life in general and for everything that they've given me, being joy, um, sadness, heartbreak, happiness, uh, education, knowledge, all of these wonderful, loving, incredible, powerful feelings, um, I would get so much reward in giving back to these animals and being able to give them the most enriching, stimulating, and fun environment and lives that they could possibly have. I want to keep them enriched, make their lives as good as they could possibly be. So um, that'd be pretty awesome. And the fifth thing I'm nervous about is being skilled and trained enough to work with these animals and be able to hold the position of a trainer and talk to people. Um, it takes a certain kind of person, guys. It takes a certain kind of person. You have to have the right personality. You have to have the right degree. You have to have all of these skills all in one um, encompassed into one person in order to care for these animals and do what thousands of people want to do. Thousands and thousands of people are going to be wanting your job and wishing they had your job. And getting in that job is already very difficult. So I want to be able to be as trained and skilled and as possible so that I can give these animals the best lives they can because it would suck to be a sucky trainer. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and hit that big red subscribe button below. Um, you can also find my social media. My Instagram is at blessed by the Yorkas. Um, and I will talk to you guys next time. Have a whale of a day. Bye guys.